The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In this example, we're asked to state whether or not the following pairs of triangles must be congruent, and if so, Name the postulate that is used. In part A, notice that we have two angles in the included side of one triangle congruent to two angles in the included side of a second triangle. Therefore, we can say that the triangles are congruent by angle side angle. In part B, we only have two pairs of corresponding sides that are marked as congruent. But notice that these triangles share a third side, so we can mark this side as congruent to itself. Since we now have three sides of one triangle congruent to three sides of a second triangle, we can say that these triangles are congruent by side, side, side. In part C, we only have two pairs of corresponding sides that are marked as congruent. But notice that we have a pair of vertical angles in the diagram, and we know that vertical angles are congruent. Since we now have two sides and the included angle of one triangle congruent to two sides and the included angle of a second triangle, we can say that these triangles are congruent by side angle side. In part D, we have one pair of corresponding sides marked as congruent and a pair of corresponding angles marked as congruent. So we need a third pair of corresponding parts. Notice that these triangles share a side, so we can mark this side as congruent to itself. So we now have two pairs of corresponding sides and a pair of corresponding angles. But notice that the angle in each triangle is not included between the two sides. So we cannot use side angle side. Instead, we have side side angle, which is not one of our postulates for proving that triangles are congruent. So we say that no congruence can be determined. <laughs> 